All right, guys, here we are again. Another day in the workshop. Um, third day in a row, and today we're going to finish up the metals and make some red steel. And once we do that, we will be completely through all the metal progressions. Still got this nice blue steel anvil. Still looks gorgeous. Love that color. <clears throat> So, that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's get some red steel so we can make water buckets and have some fun with that. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is make uh, rose gold. Alright, for that, for um, four ingots of rose gold, I need three gold and one copper. So I have two here already. I, I want to make eight though, so I'm going to need six gold and uh, two copper. I have plenty of copper. All that copper. So let me get my charcoal here really quick. And let's um, throw this stuff in the oven here. Get that right anything in here. Oh, that one's open. I'll throw it right in here. Um, yeah, I'm better off putting as much in there as I can. What does that look like? I need four ingots. Alright, see how much that gives me. Alright. That just smelted, so let's see if we can get four. Two, three, is that going to be a hole? Ah, oh, just missed it, damn it. All right, so I get, I'm gonna have to get. Uh, let me just throw these over here for now. And these gold ingots look nice. All right, four. I, I need that last one, so let me um let me fill that ingot up. I think that was too much. All right. So now we have enough for two sets of rose gold. And uh, that was three, three gold and one copper, right? So I'm going to take the gold from here. So I'll grab one of these because they're hotter. Oh, crap. And let's get that going. There we go. Four rose gold. Let's fix that. Um, yeah, I'll be able to fit the other ones there. All right, I can put one there. One. All right, I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to store them. I make the other set. So I'll grab um these two. Oh, these three, and I'll just grab a copper from right there. Or you know what? I'll grab one of those. All right, got him. Got some nice rose gold. And these are the five I'll use for the um the red steel. Next is brass, and I believe brass is uh. What's this stuff over here? Is this uh cephalorite? I know I'm gonna have to cook up some of this. And it's copper, right? I believe it's three copper. I don't know if I have any of this stuff here. I might I may have never smelted cephalorite before. I can't remember if I did. I think I always was um using Cassiterite in the beginning. Anyway, let me Did I use I have a gold halfy oh I do have one. I didn't use it, damn it. I did that with copper too. I got two half copper ingots. Alright, no big deal. So let me smelt some of this cephalorite up. I need uh, two ingots, I believe. And 
Now I'll throw a couple more in here just to be safe. It's better to go over than to come up short. Oh, it's going to need more charcoal. It's a life lesson right there. Yeah, it looks good. Alright, this stuff smells relatively quickly because it's such a low tier metal. Yeah. So I made plenty. I could throw this in here, just add that to my collection. Alright, I need three copper now, one of these, three copper, so I'll grab that. And I got of copper right here. Nice. These are all new metals I'm making. I never made these before. That's why I'm recording it. So I got the brass. Oh, I forgot to mention. How did I stop? I forgot to mention that. This should have been the first thing I talked about. Um, yeah, I went ahead and made the 20 black iron, black steel ingots that I'm going to need to weld to the, um, the red steel ingots. That's the liquid. So I got five there, five there, five there, and five there. So that's 20. Yeah, that took me a while. Um, sometimes I wish I could get like footage out of this half of the things I do off camera to get ready. I'd probably be up to like episode 70 by now. But that's boring stuff. So that's done. This is, um, this is all I need is, are these, um, I just needed the brass and the rose gold. And of course I have this stuff left over from when I did the blue steel. I made the extra because I was anticipating making the red steel. I have that and that right there. I, I made all that in bulk. Uh, now what did I want to do? Now I have to make another set of these. So I'll just use those three and this one. Oh, wait, what am I doing here? One of these did... Is it liquid? Yeah liquid it didn't I didn't think it was liquid and I just need five of them all right so there's my brass here's my rose gold here's the other stuff one two three and four and that's it we'll have red steel then it just needs to be welded to a black steel and it should be good all right ready here we go, we're gonna make our first red steel. Alright, gotta be quick about this. Like playing hot potato. Probably shouldn't have these all spread out, but what are you gonna do? There we go, red steel. Um I, I gotta put this somewhere. Uh, I don't want I gotta cool it I don't want it to cool down. <laughs> put two here. brilliant white already look at that these st these things cool down quick now it's just like the blue steel I imagine gotta do that I need my flux I'm gonna have to make more no what am I doing there we go there we go official red steel ingot and that could hang out there um, wait, let me grab another one where I put them brilliant white already might as well uh, weld one up right here There we go. On our way to having a red steel anvil. All right. Um, so you know the drill. I'll do the rest off camera. Uh, all I gotta do is make uh, six more of these. I'm just gonna do that until I get six more of these. 
I'll make the other um actually I need to make uh six eight more because I'm gonna make two buckets. I think it's it's kind of common sense I need two water buckets so I can um create infinite springs. So I'm gonna do that and I'll come back when uh for the actual making of the anvil. And looky what I got. Seven double ingots down here for my anvil. Two for two buckets. And I got these two left over, my two left over blue steel ingots. Which uh, I'm probably going to make another bucket out of these two blue steel because it's probably going to be more beneficial for me to have a couple buckets of blue steel uh, because I'm going to be moving a lot of lava coming up here pretty soon. But more more to come for that later on. So let's uh let's do this. Make a red steel anvil. Alright, see how pretty this one looks. Red steel baby. And I'll throw it right here. I don't think that should mess with the forge. Um if it does I could just move it right here, but Whatever, it's no big deal. I got this one right here anyway. There it is. I like it. I like it. Copper one. Red steel. These are actually all my anvils. All right here. Bronze one up there. Cool. Damn, look at that. We made it. We freaking made it. Blue and red steel. Alright, um... You know what, let's make the buckets before I get too crazy I'm celebrating All right, let's make them one right here okay oh yeah I gotta make it into a sheet first you know what Ooh, I don't have a hammer on this one either let me just borrow this hammer here for a minute all right. Made me nervous there for a second. I thought there was uh, some kind of glitch. Bend, bend, bend. There we go. <laughs> we got a red steel bucket. Now, one thing that annoyed me about these buckets is they cannot go in a chest. They cannot go in a chest. That's just kind of annoying. So, you need to put them in an anvil. Here's my blue steel one, chilling out with my armor. Let me just keep these together over here. Now let me make that second one. Where, where was it? Right here. There we go. Now we can move water. We can move water and lava. Awesome. You know what? While I'm at it, I know I'm going to make another bucket sooner or later. Let me just make it right now. And I have to weld these, which should be no big deal. Oh, you know what? Can I use the red steel anvil for this? Uh... Is this right? Something doesn't feel right. Something's not right here. There we go. Huh. So you're telling me I could have made the red steel bucket on a blue anvil? Hmm. I was figuring what's. They wouldn't allow you to do that because then there would be no point in making both anvils. You only have to make one. So why would they give you the option of two anvils if you only need one? Unless it has to do with metals. You may be richer in some metals than in others, and it's just an option. I don't know, but what the hell, it's, I'm flashing my wealth by making two anvils and I didn't even need them. That's how I look at it. I'm rich, look at that. 
<laughs> I got two anvils. I'm rich. Ain't no biggie. I still have tons of ore left over. Um, actually, let's take a look at the iron supply. Um, these three are still full. This one is still full. Well, except for that. This one is totally empty. This one was full, and I think I only had a row full up here. So that's all the iron I went through. A chest and a row. And a block. Um, and not, that's not too bad considering I made 40 ingots of end tier metal. 40 ingots. I mean, you're never gonna cook up that many at one time again in a game. You, you can make armor and tools. With 40 ingots, you can make all the armor you need and all the tools you need. So that's like a once in a game thing. To do that big push to get the anvils and now everything will be more relaxed <clears throat> um, as far as metals and stuff go using up the ore all right so that concludes this three-day marathon in a workshop here we upgraded to black steel blue steel and red steel and three days in a succession of three days um, it was fun it was huge. We, we uh, I mean, essentially, we beat Terra Firma Craft. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's over. Um, I still got some cool things planned, actually. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, going to be pretty cool, I think. And I need to. I need a lot of lava to do it. But before I head out, I'm, I'm not going to get to that today. Um, but before I head out of the workshop, um, one thing it has become painfully obvious in the last three days, and that is I need desperately need to upgrade this metal shop. Um, it's just not working when it came to um, smelting the higher tier metals, because we're dealing in so much different metals to make to make the alloys. And I mean, as you could see from all these makeshift anvils, I had to throw down just for storage space and. Uh, one of the fundamental flaws is my my ovens here, my bloomeries are not too tall. So when I need to cook up all that iron, look, it's only three blocks. When I need to cook up all that iron, I'm only pulling out three and a half blocks at a time. When I need to, like, it, it'd be much quicker if I could make 20, um, 20 bars at a time. I think the, uh, the bloomery could go, like, eight blocks, eight or nine blocks. So... A new metal shop is is on the horizon. It's in the very near future. Um, actually, I think I got a, a spot scouted out for it. I scouted out a spot. Um, I have to look into it a little more, see if it's going to be suitable for what I want to do. I don't even know exactly what I want to do, but it's time to, to upgrade the shop. You know, this was good for lower tier metals, even iron, when I was only making iron stuff, but... And when I need the stuff in bulk, I need bigger ovens. So, no big deal. Just something else to build. Uh, with that said, I, I'm done in the workshop for now. We are done up here. Um, I do have a couple things I could do for the rest of this episode, uh, just to fill some time. I don't want to get started on a project, my next project, because it's just going to be too long. Uh, so you know what? Let me go sleep and let's get some daylight. All right, so here I am outside. Um, it is 18th of September, so we're hitting fall pretty quick. Um, I haven't tended to the crops in quite a while because I've been gone. Um, you know, all the time spent in the mine and then all the time spent in a workshop building. And it has... Um, Overgrowth. Yeah, let's, let's put it that way. Um, check this out right here. Ba Boom. This freaking thing just starts to sprout up right through my deck. Um, that one that's been there for a while. It's got to get cut down. These, these trees just, they take over the place. This one grew from down here. Let me see. Uh, so I wonder what happens when I cut this down. Is the whole thing going to fall or just up to the top? I'm going to have to spend some time cleaning up, uh, get out of here, cleaning up the gardens. 
This one particularly annoyed me because it came up right through the deck like that. Maybe I'll, oh, well, I'll definitely have enough to get another charcoal pick going. All right, uh, I don't need that. We'll never waste wood though. All right. I want to take a look at the crops. The um, other thing is I, I missed out on my lemons. I did go down there and harvest the bananas and peaches, which are which are what are blooming right now. I did have um, lemons at one point because I I ran through there when I was um, I forgot what I was doing, but I ran through there at one point and I saw lemons and I was like, oh, I gotta I gotta grab those, but I was busy, so I didn't grab them. And then when I just went back a few days ago, it was, uh, they're gone. So no lemons. I don't think the peaches are going to grow this year. Got a couple of crops here. I'm not going to go crazy harvesting them. I'll probably do that off camera. Um, this is just uh, to give you guys a look at how the crops are going. I'm not going to waste time harvesting all this stuff. That one's ready. No, it's not ready. Yeah, so this is how the uh, the garden's doing. It's an annoying tree. I don't want to fill my inventory. I really oh the pig is stuck in there. Oh piggy, I gotta get you out of there. Yeah, I'll work on that. Um, I really don't have a use for water right now, but I brought the buckets out with me just to uh you know hell just to do it. Uh, so these ain't really ready yet. None of my A crops are ready. Which is the barley, oat, rye, and wheat. Yeah, all the good stuff. And it's so weird um, being able to move water now. It's like something that you take for granted in regular Minecraft. <laughs> oh, man. If I could use this to mow the lawn somehow. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, so now we can move water. That's pretty cool. I already got some ideas. Well, actually I had ideas for a long time, but I already got some new ones. We'll get to that. Let's check out the trees. doing back here. Bananas came back. I'm not going to sit here harvesting all of them, but let's get some bananas. And yeah, only bananas and peaches. No olives. I don't know if I missed them or they are they going to bloom later on. Because I don't remember seeing the apples at all either. So either I totally missed them or they don't bloom yet. And those things just look like garbage. They look like they're dead. Which they are dead, technically, but... I mean, they look like they've never grown back. And I didn't put a sign up. Peach sign. I'll have to take care of that later. Alright, so I'm running around. I'm trying to figure out something to do for the rest of this episode. Um, couldn't really think of anything. So I figured, what the hell, let me just get the groundwork started on my next project right now. Um, it's just going to be a little bit of cleaning out and stuff. And um, the next project is going to be this mess back here. Um, as you can see, a tree grew back there, of course. Uh, which is freaking hilarious. I wonder where the top is. But, yeah, uh, ever since I broke in... Actually, that very episode when I broke through this wall and discovered this, I think I mentioned I'm, I'm going to turn it into a garden. And that has been on my mind this whole time. I've been wanting to do it, but I've been waiting to be able to move lava and water because it's going to make it look really nice. going to be a nice garden. Um, and basically, this thing has been annoying me the whole time because I left it like this. And it's basically a mob spawner 
even though it's lit it's not well lit and there's usually about five or six mobs running around down here every once in a while a spider will cl climb up the wall chase me down the hallways um, I got tired of listening to them like the zombie that's down there somewhere right now and there he is so it is time to um, yeah we're gonna do this we're gonna do this in here and I have a nice plan for this area but first things first, um, today, it's not going to be nothing too crazy. I'm just going to clean it out. Got to get rid of all this cobble down here. Uh, I'm going to shut this guy up here. Just pound on his skull a little bit there, thank you. And, yeah, we'll get this going. Let me cut down this tree. Uh, funny story, I was actually, the other day, I was standing up there, and I was looking down... Oh, look at that. that tree must have grew in there somewhere. That's hilarious. Um, I was standing up there, um, doing this sneak right over the edge like this, and a skeleton shot me and I fell in. And I had no armor on at the time. I ended up, um, there was like two skeletons, two or three skeletons were down there shooting me. There was two zombies coming at me, and there was a spider running around. And uh, being level 44, um, I'm I'm a hard son of a bitch to kill. Out of all that, I think I only lost like a quarter energy. So, if you're wondering, that's why I'm not wearing that armor. Um, that suit of, uh, I think it's iron? I forgot it was iron or steel. I don't, I don't think it's steel. But that's why I'm not wearing it, because it would pretty much be a waste right now. I'd put it on and it would break from like fall damage or the mob fighting the mobs, but the mobs aren't going to kill me. Um, I'm going to have to wait until I die and lose all this en this uh, these levels until I wear armor again. Yeah, so I'm going to clear this out. Got to clear this all out. <sighs> I think I threw this down when I was building up there. Yeah, it's all the way back there. Tree. So this should be fun. Good thing I got those. This pickaxe will probably definitely break. Good thing I got those two blue steel ones upstairs. Um, to give you a little, a little uh, preview into what I'm gonna do in here. I don't want to spoil it until I actually do it, but. Uh, some of the work I'm going to have to do before I even get started is the ceiling. i got to make the ceiling even, or I might even make it a little bit concave. But I don't know how it's going to work because um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a couple of cave-ins if I start chipping away at the ceiling. And I'll have to mine raw basalt, and uh, if it caves in too much, I'll have to build it back to the way I like it. Um, I'm going to bust out the hammer and chisel in here, so... That should give you a little idea of where I'm headed. Mm. My idea is I'm going to make a staircase coming down from there to about right down here. I'm going to start um, digging in here, making some kind of room in there. I think it'll have something to do with railways. Or just, um, you know, maybe I, I wouldn't even do that. I'm not even going to worry about that right now. I don't, I don't know why I mentioned that. That'll come much later on. So, you know, what I'll do, I'll clear this out. When this is clear, I'll, uh, well, I'll cut this out and, um, I'll, I'll, and I'll clear out this room here. I'll make it nice and, and squared out and light it up pretty good. That'll get it ready for um, building when I start that project. All right, got done clearing all that stuff out. Um, as you can see, I don't know what the final layout of the floor is going to be, so I just left it like that. Um, and the walls, too. Probably going to have to make them smooth. But I just left it all like that for now. The ceiling is uh, that's going to need a lot of work. But I didn't get into that right now. I just cleared out the bottom, which is going to give me um, a little head start on what I do. Uh, all this is cleared out, too, underneath there. Took the old dirt elevator up. And this will be ready for next time. But that's going to have to wait till next time. So, um, thanks for joining me today.
We got red steel. It was awesome. The metals are done. And let's get a shot at the creeper from up here. That still looks cool. Alright, so I will see you next time. Later.